Good morning and welcome to Cox Notes and this week's update from Tongue in Cheek News, where all the news is fake, but we admit it. I'm coming to you today from my home office, where I am diligently trying to treat symptoms of spring fever, cabin fever, chronic camping withdrawal syndrome, and social interaction anxiety. But on with the news. This exclusive report from our contacts at Wiley Publishing, where the latest Webster's New World College Dictionary is being prepared for publication. We have learned from once reliable sources that several words, meanings, etc. are being proposed for addition, deletion, or correction in the upcoming version of the College Dictionary. In the current dictionary, the synonymy for essence or essential is highlighted and explains the word as follows, quote, essential in the strict usage is applicable to that which constitutes the absolute essence or the fundamental nature of a thing and therefore must be present for the thing to exist, end of quote. It is our understanding that at least one governor and several congressional representatives have requested that a further explanation be provided in the synonymy of essential. Their suggestion is, and again I quote, essential also is appropriate when describing anything that government determines to be in the best interest of said government. End of quote. The same petition asks that synonymy of the word citizen be changed. It now states, and I quote, citizen refers to a member of a state or nation, especially one with a Republican government, who owes it allegiance and is entitled to full civil rights, either by birth or naturalization." End of quote. The petitioners are reportedly asking that the words be changed to, another quote, citizen refers to anyone who is present in a state or nation and who may choose or choose not to pledge allegiance to said state or nation, but is still entitled to the full civil rights regardless of birth or other circumstances." End of quote. Lastly, it is our understanding that the Webster's New College Dictionary will also be asked to remove words like civil defense, civil disobedience, civility, civil liberties, and civil war, and that the term civil rights be redefined as the rights given by a city council, board of county commissioners, governor of a state, or any judge who has been appointed by a Democrat of any administration, and who is loyal to one or more of the entities above. Well, that's all the time we have for this morning. But please subscribe to Cox Notes, where we talk openly about guns, freedom, and the American way. And we will get back to that it is my promise. 
and every Friday we will continue to bring you an update from Tongue in Cheek News. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. And please, have a wonderful day.